Hi and welcome to Good and Great Christian Book Reviews. Today I want to look at a book which is in many senses a modern day classic. It's about 30 years old, um, lots of Christians have read it, lots of Christians know about it and it's the type of book that I think every Christian should read ultimately. So what is the book? Well it's this book, Spiritual Disciplines for the Christian Life by Donald S. Whitney. Spiritual Disciplines for the Christian Life by Donald S. Whitney. This is a really helpful book for the Christian life and it is um, a very balanced and biblical book that is very realistic but incredibly challenging and helpful. Uh, Donald Whitney, I, I love to read, um, I love his books on praying through the Bible and his kind of YouTube videos on that, I think he's incredibly helpful and really this is his kind of foundational book that looks at the spiritual disciplines. Now in the book he lays out why we need to discipline ourselves spiritually, why we need to work at our faith, um, looking really at the words of Paul where he says look physical exercises of some value but spiritual exercises much more. He looks at why we need to, in the strength of the Spirit, in the light of grace, why we need to carry out these spiritual disciplines. And then having set that basis out in the first chapter, he then uh, takes time to go through different sections and look at the different spiritual disciplines. Now he clearly sets them in scripture. So he starts with the foundation of the need to go to the Bible and to study the Bible, and then to pray through the Bible, and then to meditate on the Bible. He takes pains to explain what Christian meditation is and is not, and gives lots of examples how to do it. And then he goes on to examine lots of other spiritual disciplines, for example, fasting and solitude and, and interestingly evangelism and learning and um, that's what I love about uh, Donald uh, Whitney he looks at the kind of traditional spiritual disciplines that lots of people would think of like Bible study and prayer and fasting and those are brilliant but he also looks at ones like sharing your faith and learning um, and others and for example he has a chapter on journaling so instead of journaling just being a part of the spiritual disciplines he has a chapter exploring it as its own spiritual discipline in and of itself. I think the book is really helpful for people who want to explore their faith on a deeper level, who want to perhaps spend more time in communion with God, who want to go deeper into Bible study and prayer and therefore meditation, and want to experiment with things like fasting and journaling and solitude and silence. Uh, the book does it in a very helpful way. He clearly expounds scripture as he goes on. He gives us very helpful historical examples. And you go away understanding what you're doing and why you're doing it. What are the dangers if you get it wrong? But more than that, he gives you practical kind of takeaways for doing it. Um, I, I would definitely say if you don't want to be challenged, don't read this book. Okay, if you don't want to be challenged, don't read this book. But if you do want to be challenged and you do want to be equipped, and you do want to grow in the spiritual disciplines and therefore grow in the Lord, uh, then this book is for you. It's a modern day classic, well worth reading by every Christian, The Spiritual Disciplines for the Christian Life by Don Whitney.